Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at the Minotaurus Maze Puzzle, designed by Siebenstein. Siebenstein is a, is a German company, and they have various puzzles in their portfolio, most of them made out of wood, and also a big part of them, like this one, are kind of some maze puzzles. And this one is not a standard maze, it's a maze with multi-layers. means I have an upper layer, which I can shift here by hand, and I have a lower layer inside, which is fixed. The puzzle itself is made from four layers, one out of um, one transparent layer on the top, and then three wooden layers, one with the maze that can be shifted, one with the maze that's below, and one back layer. All of them are made from wood, except the top layer, of course, and um, they are laser cutted, so they are very precise, much more precise than you expect it to be from a wood puzzle, from a wooden puzzle. And um, the target of this one is to move the, these two steel balls through the maze and end up here in these two uh, round round shaped um, circles. So and um, somehow you need to manage um, to get the ball through by by um, yeah, moving this puzzle and also shifting here this um, upper layer of the maze. So and what happens usually is when you try for example to move in one direction it will be blocked here while this one would be still free or if I try to move this one in this direction for example I cannot get this one out until I move this one up and now it's I can move a little bit further and can move the the second ball over here. So this is basically how the how this one works. You always need to be in a position that you can move both of these two steel balls. Okay, and um, I'm gonna show you now how to get the balls from here to here by shifting and uh, twisting and turning. And um, I do not have all the steps in my mind, so I do this kind of intuitive. Um, I just have some base basic um, positions where I will, or which I remember where I will move. Um, and yeah, that's it. How this is done, I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, we're beginning with getting these two balls out of the starting position. And this is done by just move this one up here and then we will be able to get it out, right as I showed you before. Then we will try to get these two balls close together here in the middle of the puzzle. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I will now move this one up here to get it more over here. And I need to move this one down here to be able to get this one further over here. Now I have one already in the middle position and um, the second one will follow. Now they are close together as I want to have them. And now I will continue you can see here how precise it is manufactured. So I cannot just clamp one ball and move the other one. It will also not move. So um, I... Oh, I got it. I will try to get them now. Both together over here. Like this. And now I continue. Getting this one. Ah, I tried to get it up here, but it's blocked as you can see now. So I need to find another way. Which is probably. Something like this. No, it's also not working. Or, yeah, this is working. Okay. So now I can get it, can want get one ball up here. And 
and next because to get down here to this hole I need to move this one all the way around here and inside here the way down here is a um, dead end but I need to move this one now here and this cut out of the top um, maze also over here so that it's all the way out to one side that I can move with this one down here it's a little bit complicated to understand but you will see in a minute what I'm talking about oh wrong direction okay so now I move it all the way back to get the, this ball here down and as soon as it is on the bottom you will see what I meant mentioned before I can now pull it all the way out so it's maximum outside and only in this specific position I can get this one through here and down here in the area where we need it later and now I need to get this one back again to the top to get in this hole to the upper, in the upper hole maybe there's also a better and faster way how to do it but um, as you see, there's, there are many, many, many steps necessary to get it in the right position. And I just did it a few times and cannot remember all in detail. Okay, so now we get this one up here. And now I want to get this, the upper maze, this one back in the initial position and these two balls in the final state so this is what I try to do now shift back while having these two steel balls always in the correct positions and now we are close to the end this one I can get already in and the other one will just follow now okay so here we go puzzle done as you have seen uh, let's say it's, it looks easier than it is actually when you do it the first time there can be a lot of confusion and you get stuck somewhere you need to move back and forth and try to find the right way I now know at least which way each ball has to go to end up here and um, it's quite a it's quite fun this puzzle it has a very high quality also the, the wood itself it's it's very good also the the um, the edges here are not just uh, as like they have been cut they are somehow I don't know painted yeah so everything looks very well um, the difficulty it was rated I think with the with seven or six out of eight from this specific um, rating from Siebenstein um, actually I think this is a, this rating is a little bit too high from my point of view it's maybe a three out of five maximum of five from my personal rating but anyway it's a fun puzzle it also looks pretty nice so you can it's 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 kind of an eye catcher if you place it somewhere and um, yeah in general that's it I will put you the link where to you can buy this in the US and where you can buy this in Europe and maybe also find something in Australia and um, yeah if you like this video give me a like and subscribe and if you have any comments about this what you liked what you disliked what you want to see in future videos just leave a comment and until then keep on puzzling